In this video, we're going to look at subtraction. So, subtraction, um, for example, starting off with something like um, 83 take away uh, 42, for example. A nice, really basic one to start off with. Like addition, we write them in place order, okay, so the units must line up, the tens must line up. Working from the right to the left, 3 take away 2 is 1, 8 take away 4 is 4, so our answer is 41, okay? Nice and easy to start off with. What if we're dealing with something like 92 take away 48, okay? Well, we would set it up in very much the same way. 92, 48. Working from the right to the left, we have 2 take away 8, which we can't actually do. Effectively, if you know where we're going with GCSE, then you'll know that then we're going to go into negative numbers. But not in this case. Because I can't do 2 take away 8, I am going to borrow 1 from the 9. So it's effectively borrowing 10. So the 9 drops down to 8, because I've taken 1 away, and that 1 can get placed above the 2. So this turns the 2 into 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. And 8 take away 4 is 4. So we're left with 44. If that's the first time you've seen something like that, I'll go through another example. Let's say we've got 679 take away 486. So write it in place value, okay, in order. We have 9 take away 6 is 3. 7 take away 8 is where we get into tricky tricky waters. Um, so we're going to have to borrow one from the 6. The 6 reduces to 5, add the 1 onto the 7. But that just means that we're now looking at 17 rather than 7. 17 take away 8 is 9, and 5 take away 4 is 1. So we're left with 193. Let's see uh, a couple of examples with decimals. So if we had uh, 4.26, take away uh, 2.69, then we must make sure that the decimal points line up, much like we did for addition. 6 take away 9 I can't do, so I need to borrow 1 from the 2. The 2 reduces to 1, and we now have 16 take away 9, which is 7. I have 1 take away 6, which I can't do, so I need to borrow 1 from the 4. Okay, so I now have 11 rather than 1. 11 take away 6 is uh, 5. The decimal point follows down. 3 take away 2 is 1. 1 1.57. One more example. Let's say I have... Um, 8.1 take away 2.47. Okay, make sure the decimal points line up. You'll notice we have a gap. Okay, so fill it with a zero. Zero take away seven, I can't do. We're going to have to borrow one from the one. So the one now becomes zero and the one appears here. 10 take away 7 is 3. I have 0 take away 4, which I can't do. Borrow 1 from the 8. 10 take away 4 is 6. The decimal point follows down. 7 take away 2 is 5. So I end up with 5.63. So this has been subtracting with whole numbers and decimals.